Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to our first hangout of August. Can you believe it? It's August 1st. Oh, I was just looking at like one of my templates in my Gmail, and it's um, from January, and it says, I don't know about you, but January feels like the longest month ever. And it's like, and why does July feel like the shortest one, right? It's just like, boom, gone. Um, so I just wanted to quickly share something that I'm going to work on today. And that is, uh, Christina, I don't know if you've posted it yet, but I will be sharing this today with the team. So what I do um, is the posting ideas here. So what I tend to do with this is, um, and we need to, Christina and Margo and Floss and myself need to um, uh, decide if we're gonna do and when we're gonna do the webinar, right? Uh, normally it's kind of mid month. So what I tend to do is, you need to turn the sound right off on that. Otherwise I just hear myself through your phone. <laughs> um, what I tend to do is I will go through the posts and gear all of my posts for like, that are coaching related for kind of the first couple of weeks. And then after that, I will make it the Fit Club ones for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I don't actually do it in this order, I just, put them into my own personal calendar, the ones that I know I'm gonna use from here. Um, and then I would, will add in some of my own that I, I would like to do in there as well. Um, Transformation Tuesday tends to be pretty standard, but it's just planning out your month so that when you look at each day, if you have a pretty full schedule, the idea is already there of what you can talk about, what you can post about, um, and it does remember your picture doesn't have to match your right you're just telling a bit of your story with your post so that's one of the things that I will work on today. Um, just because it's the beginning of a month and I want to make sure that I have uh, a solid kind of foundation for the month. So then they've got some real ideas here on the side, so you can use the song phonia um, use your own voice complete a sentence uh, and then also the bye 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 insect thing so. Um, which that, I think that one's cool. Share three to four things you're saying bye to, right? So um, yeah, so that's just a, fo a focus for me. And now it is your turn to ask your questions, share how your week has been, share what you are gonna focus on. Uh, I'm hoping that you all saw that Preferred Customer launches on August 6th. Uh, so that came out in the Diamond Insider and um, I'm really excited about that. I know that I have quite a few people that will switch over that didn't want to put in their social insurance number. I know Maxine had the same, but that'll still be able to get the benefit of it. And my understanding is, and I could be wrong with this, so we would have to double check on the FAQ, that they can switch to coach and their spot is there, right? So it's, um, they're in your genealogy downline, they just can't make money with it. Um, but then they can switch to coach and they're in that spot. So it's really awesome for people that maybe you get them signed up as a preferred customer and then all of a sudden they're like rocking it and you can then switch them over to coach um, and they would be already locked into that one particular spot. Someone pushing for diamond, you can easily build your diamond with preferred customers, 100%. So. Can you add 15 more? I did that one, so then I to today. Okay, team uproar, deadline for pushing for one star is the homework. the homework is due today. So if you're in the, the uproar, uproar group. So that's my kind of more um, morning news announcements, things like that. Um, and what do you all have on the go here? How is everybody? Max is brave, bold, and what does it say? Be brave, be bold. <laughs> Uh, be brave, be bold, be you. Oh, I love it. I'm still in my pajamas. Who cares? Me so too, is Clarissa. Max. <gasps> so is Clarissa. How come it said you were joining? Oh, you left the meeting because it was... Because I couldn't mute. So I have my blanket, but I'm right there. She I is mean. here. She's just in her pajamas. <laughs> so. Yeah, we had fun yesterday. Came back super late. <laughs> How's everybody doing? 
questions, things you want us to go over, anything that's working for you, something you tried. Again, don't all speak at once. Remember, this is your hour. I can share my focus. Please. <clears throat> so I had a really, really busy July in my personal life. It just so happened every single, like just had a million things, my daughter's birthday, weddings, like all that stuff. <clears throat> so I had to like do the bare minimum, also hosted the most kick-ass retreat though ever, which was like the highlight. <laughs> so I'm like, that's a win, okay? <laughs> yeah, huge win. But, <clears throat> so this month, because I don't have any like travel plans, I'm super excited to lean into my health and fitness, like 100%. Um, <clears throat> I know that results are our business. So I know that if I can dial in my results and I know what I'm capable of, I've done it a million times before and I want to be there for my health, um, also for my back injury. I have a very tired oh. <laughs> That wants her mommy. But so I'm really excited to just like lean completely into 645, share that. Um, we also have a diamond deadline for August 25th for any of you, of you guys that are going for a diamond in this quarter, um, then there's going to be a diamond retreat in Vancouver, in November for the people that qualify August 25th. So take note on that if you're going for diamond right now. Um, so that's my focus to help my girls hit diamond, which is also another trick of this business is when you see success is when you're helping other people see success. So it's not always about you. How can you help the people around you see success too? Um, so really like my business and my health is my number one and my babies, my babies that take all my time. <laughs> but, and then lastly, so like, yeah, the diamond push, the, the next diamond retreat, getting that organized. And then, um, we're also starting a Vancouver live boot camp, which will be the first Saturday of every month, hopefully going forward with Maxine and Tiffany and all the Empower Squad coaches. You guys are obviously all welcome and encouraged to come with your clients. Um, we just kind of put it together as like, let's just start doing this and see where it goes from there. So if you're local, that would be exciting. And I do encourage, like, this is something I've done in the past. And this is something I encourage all coaches to think about is doing something local for your people. Like, like so what we're doing is because Max, like the, the, lead, the people running it, we're all certified to actually teach. Like I'm a fitness and yoga instructor. Maxine's a personal trainer. So we're actually just putting on a 30 minute boot camp, but it's all going to be inspired by beach body programs. But another thing you can do is actually just play the beach body program on a projector. I say that so weird every time. <laughs> projector. And uh, so that's another way too, but we're going to be doing <clears throat> like boot camp, beach body um inspired and then we're gonna have like a supplement bar where people can buy like a toonie bar for energize or five bucks for shakeology so this is like a yeah an opportunity to bring people local towards us but any coach can do this guys i did this when i was like three months in i hosted a fit club and i actually invited 10 people and like one person came so there's that story <laughs> but you got to do it you got to start these things i actually talked about this on my social media this week is how creative you need to be if you want to make this work. You have to be willing to like, yes, this is a simple business where you're doing simple things, you're changing people's lives. But if you want to find new people month after month after month and hit success club month after month, you have to get creative with your approach. So if something's not working, it's probably because it's not working and you have to try something different. So don't be afraid to always get creative and try new things, um, but also stay consistent with your goals, which is three people a month, success club, you know, sharing about your bootcamp, sharing about coaching. That's going to be consistent. That's the same month after month after month, but your approach and how you go about it can be creative. And then lastly, okay, I have to mention this because this is actually my biggest social media focus. I'm going to try to do a lot of reels. <laughs> it is no doubt that if you want your social media to grow right now, you have to be doing reels. It is written everywhere, like plastered on Instagram. I gained almost 4,000 followers when my reel went viral. That, that's how your people are growing, truly, is with reel. So I would recommend trying to reel everything and don't try to be perfect. Like huge props, Tanya, you're like brand new coach and I see you like doing reels and I'm like, dude, your reels are amazing. Like I, I hope every coach is like going out there and, and just putting it out there because like I'm so, I'm so inspired by you, it's awesome. So reels are my big like social media focus. And you could easily use the posting calendar ideas to make reels, 
right? Like just instead of writing it in a post, make a quick reel where you're doing like the things and it's there instead, right? Add some fun music and boom. So you don't have to be like super creative when it comes to, oh, I don't even know what to post in a reel. It's just about getting that, getting the content out there. 100%. Does anyone have any questions about any of those things? I just, I just realized I like blurted out Sunday morning drinking my coffee. Like I should have been a little more engaging, <laughs> but like, have you guys, are you guys like excited for the Vancouver thing? Have you, if you're not in Vancouver, are you like planning on doing something like this in the future? Um, anything I talked about, does anyone have any questions? Cause Tanya, I see you. You're like, so you talk really fast. <laughs> I, I like, Ashley, are you in a Facebook group for like coaches where you live? Have you found one? No, I would search one because I feel like in every town, there's going to be some, some beach body coaches in the, like in a Facebook group. And if you search, um, where, whatever the name of your town is, and then, um, beach body coaches like we have vancouver beach body coaches you could easily find people to actually run an event with so that you're not doing it all by yourself right i think it was cool like at the summit one to see like andressa and lena and those got like start to get together because then we clarissa just noticed yesterday that um, Lena tagged Andressa on a post that was like, Andressa, let's run, you know, and then you get to connect with other people that are close to you that you could go and bounce ideas off, off of, because these are great, like the hangouts are awesome, the, the calls are great, it's so awesome to be able to connect this way, it's just next level when you can actually get together with someone and, you know, then you're making reels together and then you're, yeah, the energy of it is pretty, pretty fabulous, so, so I would recommend that, I would recommend Sergalim do that as well. Make sure you hop into a find a Facebook group where you live, right? Plus, it's putting clothes on. We it's have to red. qualify for Diamond by August twenty fifth. Christina said, for, and the retreat is when November fifth to seventh. Yeah. Yeah, but Andressa in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a dream. <laughs> We can make it reality. <laughs> yeah. I okay, I got my uniform. I'm ready. I think preferred customer is going to be game changing for a lot of people. Does it? The preferred customer works almost the same as a coach when you are with all your ranks and everything, right? Okay. Yeah, it's just that your your preferred customer can't become your emerald coach. Yeah. Right. So you still need to have your two emeralds, one on your left, one on your right. But your preferred customer can be the other three. Um, or like if you're building um, Sandra's account, you can put two preferred customers under her that make her emerald. I see. Right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. You could, you're saying you could probably easily switch um, preferred um, customer to coach, hopefully, hopefully without a form. <laughs> without a form. Uh, no, I think you would have to fill out a form. Okay. No, oh. the social insurance number, that's the big thing for some people. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. They, they don't, wanna, they like, don't want to disclose that information. You know what? Totally. I actually just signed somebody up yesterday and I was trying to get them to be a discount coach. And it was like literally 10 p.m. on the 31st. And I'm just like talking to them at a party because it's pride and I'm at parties right now. <laughs> I'm so happy pride, everyone. Um, and they were like, yeah, no, this sounds really great as a customer. And and they were interested in the product. So I was like, yeah, you know, if I sign you off as a coach and then they're like, oh yeah, yeah, no, that, that sounds like a lot right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I wish I could use a different term for that. Yeah. But yeah, so, and yay, lo and behold, they joined. So that was, I'm really excited about that. But another thing that I'm really, um, my strategy is I'm working through my own voice in all of this is yeah the, the accountability group the people the are the gold behind um this program and i i think there's a lot of people that are like okay i want that accountability i want that support group which say and they want it with what i keep uh, boasting about is a large number of people that we have in the facebook group the empower um uh, fit and health club and then the BOD group as well. So if I have new clients and I want to get them involved in those big groups, 
I just contact the administrator of each group and just ask them to. Yeah, so in the, in the um, Facebook group, you can invite them and then we would, it would say like um, who the Who's coach your is. Coach? Then and they so say then it'll Sam. say Sam, and then we approve them into the group. Um, if you want them in my bod, like in the bod group that you're in with me, you just send me their name and email address and I add them in. And is that, are those the groups you guys would recommend to keep the hype for these new customers? Yeah. Up? I would ask Sam because some people, they're not Facebook users. They don't like to post anything there. They're very private people. So then I would recommend the bot because it's like a very private app. But yeah. like me, that we've done like so many challenge groups and everything. I tried the bot. It doesn't really work for me. I forget. But like, I get so excited to go post on the Fit Club and then Paris got on um, Facebook. Okay. So it's like ask your customer how they want to like the, the accountability piece. And some people, they're going to say, ah, oh, can we just have like a WhatsApp chat? Because I don't want to post anywhere. I'm like, that's fine too. Thank you. You're welcome. How's everybody else doing? Can I ask a question? Um, so with um, Angie's one star group and then the push for diamond, do you think that's something we should be in both groups or just focusing on one, one group over the other? Like you've got your push for diamond and, and power squad and then Angie's got her one star push. But if we're not at diamond, do we even bother with Angie's group? Or will Angie's group help give us some tools to help us get just to our one star or to our star or diamond? Sorry, I'm not awake yet. My opinion, everyone should be pushing for one star because if he doesn't get to one star, you, you reach a diamond at least. And Angie's the freaking top coach in the company. We need to listen from her. Seriously, you don't have to listen from anyone else. She's top coach. <laughs> she, knows, okay, so just, she knows what she's doing. So just follow, just kind of get in that group and just like my turn. work along <laughs> what Anyways, you're missing if you had the opportunity to talk to the number one person that has figured beach body out and is number one in the company wouldn't you want to listen in like yes like you don't want to miss this opportunity so what we're doing with the empower squad push to diamond there's no actual unless Tamara, you have something going on behind the scenes <laughs> we just what we're going to be making literally today like i'm putting all the diamond stuff together we just confirmed our location the like the leaders all that so like we literally are literally putting that together today but it's literally just a push we are not providing you with the training to get oh, okay. there because you have the training if you watch the first three videos in the in the coach hub it's um new coach welcome and everyone should know about this it's in the guide section of our coach up new coach welcome how to hit emeralds in 24 hours how to hit diamond in eight weeks besides that with our five minute lives every day there's no more info that you really need that the proof is in that like that is where you need to show up with your daily to-do list every single day with that angie is now giving you extra training and support so I would encourage every single one of you guys to get in there today and catch up and be like, I want to do this because if not, you're missing like a billion dollar opportunity. You're missing, uh, like you're walking by, uh, what's, um, it's good guys. Uh, lottery ticket. You're walking by like a lottery yeah. ticket on the ground and being like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to take tips from the number one coach in the company because you know, so my, my opinion is to like lean into it. Of course, there's the overwhelm, but ladies, we're all growing a business here. It's something new. It's something exciting. If you're going to, if I was going to university to try to make the same kind of money I make today, I would have to be in university every day, doing homework, listening to my teachers, doing assignments. But instead I decided to spend all that time learning about Beachbody, seven and a half years studying beach body. <laughs> so that's just like my tip. You need to be a student and lean in and learn. And like, I just think it, because she made this shift just this month where she's like doing a new thing and really offering that support to downline coaches. It's just like such an amazing opportunity. So how lucky, yeah. how lucky we are. I was telling Tamara, cause I was like, and she's just, she's like, just brilliant. She's like, so business uh, mindset. 
I was like, everyone that is already there, you don't have to go look for new coaches. They already love Beachbody. They are there because they love it, but just haven't seen success. So to like, let's work with the coaches that are already there. It's just like, seriously, brilliant. Yeah. Feeding the coaches at your table. Yep. I'm in that group. And uh, that, so a couple things actually I wanted to talk about, which you guys were just talking about, was the, and for people that are out of town, <clears throat> You can just go to a park or something with one person, like I did with a friend of mine who's not a coach yet, but I'm, I'm hoping to sign her up today or tomorrow. But we did yoga in the park and it was just two of us, but I, I, we got a couple of photos and there's power in numbers just with having two and you show it to your social media. And next thing you know, your two, your live two turn into a live four, turn into a live six, turn into a live eight. And you can actually build if you're it, the only thing with doing it live is that you now you're sort of committed to something <laughs> which sort of doesn't scare me. But because of my lack of time, I work full time and all that stuff. And it just reminds me of when I used to teach fitness and I used to have to get to my fitness class right away to teach. But anyway, but this is doable for anybody to have one person to join you at a park and take a few photos and blast it out there. Um, but then I'm also in the Angie and Andre um, group. And I absolutely love it for anybody who's not in, or if you can get in, I don't know. But Angie, I like Angie's um, no nonsense, no BS way, no frou frou. <laughs> and while she was announcing all of us that became Diamond or hit success of 10 or whatever, her dog pooped on the carpet behind them. And, and she just looks over the thing, ah, oh, he's pooping. And then she goes to fix it. And Andre's still talking to all of us. <laughs> so there's this fun realism to them that brings this business back to don't be scared. Like we're just all the same. We're our dogs poop behind us and we still are making an income doing fitness. So, so yeah, I, I love that group, but I love this group too. Like every group that we have in our hot little hands is amazing. Everybody who's on here, just so you know, the empower squad uproar, they're all amazing. So that's all I had to say. No, we're just so, so, so lucky. I'm just like, so excited. Uh, where's Sam? Sam is up here. I was just going to ask her if she wanted to in. Because I know I have already some people here um, that are pushing there. So I'm really excited. I think excited. you might have just logged off, love, because I don't see her. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, chat, I'll, I'll message her if she wants in, because our scientist is busy. <laughs> so just a reminder, guys, because I know we're just talking about all the goodness right now. So I might as well just share the one last thing that we didn't talk about, which is our level up group. So that's every Monday at 12 p.m. going forward Pacific time. We shifted the time every once in a while. We like shift time, but hopefully this helps all the UK people too that are probably watching this later. Um, but this is it's obviously 8 p.m. for the UK people. So the level up call, this is geared towards all our coaches, new coaches questions um, with Tamara and C. But on Mondays, we try to dig a little bit deeper into um, more business strategy. So what the level up call is, it's for Emerald and above coaches. So I'm pretty sure almost every everyone's of you guys are Emeralds just looking at you right now. But that is something to really lean into. That's where you can come in and be like, ask anything. You can talk about business structure. You can talk about team bonus. We can talk income. We can talk about, you know, how to break down your income into a goal. Like we can talk about anything. Um, that's next level. And we also plan on having guest speakers on that and start planning little workshops around that time too. Um, I know Tiffany's talking to a special lady right now to be a guest speaker. So that's exciting too. So definitely make sure you're emeralds. You're trying to get your people to emeralds um, and then keep the things simple. Like with our empower squad group, it's like what we have is pretty freaking magical. You just need to walk through those steps. We have the new coach university. I know Chris and Tamara have a university too. We have our daily lives. We have our guide, our three-step guide to get to diamond in two weeks. Like just plug your ladies in there and then keep on showing up and huge props to everyone that's here this morning. I feel like that required a cheer. A cheer for all the energy. <laughs> I was actually good. gonna ask you, um, do you want in the one to start uproar group? 
a bee. Oh, <laughs> I Thanks asked for talking about this. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I was like, I asked a question on how to get my customers more Sam, you just energy. Just I feel talking about you, and then you came back. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, where did Sam go? And then Tamara just like added her. I was like, I didn't know that there was that option. I just do cell phone, people, guys. I built this business on my cell phone for six years. I, I, I dropped for so a let second. me know, Sam. You can message me later. Thank you. Can I can I show something? Because I need a clarification on something. Yeah. Um, I was gonna flip my camera. Oh, how do I do that? How do I flip my camera? Just turn it around, I guess. <laughs> that that. Well, I don't know if you can you see the diamond roadmap. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so those two people I've got will be preferred customers. I'll move into um, under Marla, right? Yep. So the other Emerald on the other side is Mary Jo, but then what two isn't, isn't the goal, like Mary Jo is Emerald, that would, right? So I'm just trying, what are the two dots so underneath the Emerald on the, those on are this Mary side? Those are coaches. Those okay. are the two that make MJ, Emerald. Emerald. Okay, so they're not mine. No, no they're not per your personal sponsor. That they are in your downline, and they ha they okay. make you have the emerald under you on that link. So if Mary Jo is emerald, then those are filled, right? Mm -hmm. And then I need three here and three here. Yeah, three active. Three active here, three active, three active here. Active. Mary Jo needs to stay active as emerald. Yeah, these people will be preferred customers, and then I'm. I should be diamond, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You are diamond. You just have to get it back. You're a lifetime diamond. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I know, but I got to get it back. And gotta Angie did back. ask for us to fill in like five possible names for each bubble on that road. Thanks, Sandra. So I was wondering, I haven't gone back to watch the video, so yeah. I need to catch up yeah. so I can help my coaches. Yeah, that's our goal. That's our goal like, today. It's also a little fun. Being like, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, if you're sitting here being like, oh my God, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like what videos? Like, it's okay. Just go in the team upper group, join the group and catch up. Like we're all doing it too, right? It's not about being perfect, but just know that these things are there. And know that the more you lean into these things, all the things that we've talked about today, the more you're going to get out of it. So, yeah. No pressure, but we got you. <laughs> <laughs> but no pressure, I, right? I have found that Crystal, she's not on today, but um, she's really been uh, helpful to me to sort of challenge me to build more because she is. So it's, it's fun to sort of link arms with somebody on your team, if you can, to push you because they're pushing. And so then you, you sort of work together and it, it, it's a little bit of a challenge, but it's fun. And then you can help each other with some, I have, I've, I did have one crazy lady this week, <laughs> which I won't get into. Everything's fine. I just need to make sure my doors are locked and no one can get into my house, but that's a, another story altogether. Um, but she, and she was very helpful. I sent her the, the screenshots of our messages and she said, you're saying the right thing. Don't worry about it, all this stuff. So it's, it's nice to have a person, um, even if they're not really building the business with you, but they're there to help you and, and stuff like that and challenge you in whatever. So I, I really appreciate having Crystal and she's not here, so she can't hear me. So please tell her how wonderful she is. Thank you. Hopefully she'll watch the recording and then she'll know. And that's the whole concept of having a success partner, right? We keep each other accountable and just go for it. Yeah. So that's why I'm really excited when I saw Lena say, let's run with this, Andressa. Can I give you guys a little example of a success partner? So I'm actually super excited. Um, one of my best friends, Melissa O'Shea, if you guys know her, um, is coming over tomorrow with her whole family, with her camper, parking in front of my house, and the whole family is sleeping in my house in my kids' bunk beds. Like, I'm so excited. And who this so awesome. is, is one of Angie's other leaders that I met literally seven and a half years ago. And we became success partners because we were both growing together. We've traveled to like 
five locations together. Like we've watched each other have babies and, and she actually took a little hiatus on the business for a year and that's okay. Like we're at different levels in our business, but she is like a lifelong friend and it's just so cool um, that you can make lifelong friends. And like, she's like, she's going to be a beach body coach forever, just like me. So we're probably going to be like old ladies one day being like, oh, wow, like, we're, like, look at this business we grew over time or whatever. Like, so it's can, really exciting. And your success partner, it doesn't always have to be someone in your downline or even on our team. You could find someone on another team. Another example is a steal. She's yes. like, technically on our team, but she's like, Part of the team She's she like, is part of the team we yeah. love her um you can find friendships within each other you can find friendships on other teams but it's i would say one thing like don't be afraid to let go of of these friendships too like or have a little bit of boundaries like i've been in the situation before even with coaches on my team where i'm like spending hours and hours trying to help them and they're not showing up they're not doing their workout they're not hopping on these calls why the hell am i taking time away from my kids to help someone that's not even showing up, right? So don't be also afraid to like show up for those who are showing up for you and that benefits you, right? Last like time, friendship yeah. benefits you. Like Melissa's gonna be my friend forever. It may not benefit my, yeah. whatever. It's just stupid, but she's a good friend, right? Like, so that makes sense to me, but I'm not gonna pour into energy in someone that's yeah. negative or someone, yeah. you know, you catch my dress. Yeah, that's not showing up. Yeah. And I, I, it's funny because Max and I were talking about that this week, how um, I learned that one where you focus on the people that are actually there because um, it was, it was, I learned it through Zumba uh, where everyone would be like, oh, I'm going to come to your class. 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 I'm going to come. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'll believe it when I see it, right? And so then if you focus on the people that didn't show up, your energy changes and you're sad, right? And you're kind of like mm, disappointed. Whereas if you focus on the ones that are there, that are doing it, that are trying, that are moving forward, that's what this is all about. Yeah, it would be great to bring everyone, but we can't, you, it's that expression of you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, right? So um, do you guys have like a couple minutes where I could show a video that actually Clarissa's mom shared with us? And I was like, oh my goodness, mom, we're going to change my well, business like, we need to share even this. more. So this came from, um, it's a, it's a government of Canada one. Can you see my WhatsApp here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oops. Oh, now I don't know what I did. Sorry. Is it showing now? Okay. What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. Change your future at makehealthlast.ca. Pretty powerful, hey? Oh my God! Oh my! Or God. contact your beach body coach. Oh my God! <laughs> that came from the government of Canada. And my mom right? found just... like, holy shit! Like that is why we do what we do. So we're all just like in five minutes gonna go and like reshare that on our social yeah. media, right? <laughs> Give me goosebumps. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool that it came was powerful from for sure. My mom in Brazil, right? Um, can I, I just want to say something. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, just, and that's one of the things I talked about in the coach hub this month or this week on the nutrition was that we may have a lot of people that aren't able to do our workout pro programs, aren't able to, or are doing their own things, but we have such a powerful, um, product with our nutrition and especially with the way they've changed it, that I think 
I know for myself that I've just been so focused on the workouts, the workouts, the workouts, and missed out on the number of people that might just need our help on, on guiding them to the nutrition part of, of what we have. So I just, if you haven't watched the video and you don't have to go bother watching it, but I just really feel like that's something you take that. And even if you change your nutrition, that can make such a difference in, in what that video was showing us. It doesn't have to be, you know, you got to go out and, you know, do all the, the workout programs because that may not be for everybody and they may not be, you know, as a personal trainer, I, I think there's a lot that people ne can't necessarily do on Beachbody in Demand, but there's still a lot with the nutrition and some of the more gentler, gentler programs like yoga and stuff. So anyway, I just think that that, you know, is something to think about. So I and Max, share. along those lines, yesterday Tamara actually shared a video um, about Shakeology with, um, what's her name? Yeah, Max actually knows, the one that Lauren Fitzgerald did. But it's like from a perspective oh. of a doctor that is like seeing patients that are like with their health get completely like messed up and how she, or the ingredients of Shakeology is how she treats her patients. I was completely blown away with that video. It's like 16 minutes everyone should have saved on your notes to send to people because from a perspective of a doctor it was just like incredible mm. incredible do you have that uh tamara that maybe you could throw the link to it because yeah. i I, so would, all, I try to go find it so hard to find on all our stuff um i have it and I'll, I'll send everyone the link for sure uh all i did was actually save it on facebook so it's one of my saved things on facebook so oh. I, when I share it then i just send the link um, so it's I, a Facebook link. Yeah, it's a Facebook. It's not link. an Instagram. No, but I'll send it to you. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. And it's, um, it's really, it's similar to the one she did on the wake up call, but it's more geared for people that are like, oh, I don't want to do your shake. I don't want to do your protein shake. Right. It's those kind of like, we were talking with that coach yesterday who she just doesn't like Shakeology. And I was like, so make it into pancakes make it into protein balls, make it into food that you can have. And then you're not drinking it, but you're at least getting it because our bodies are like screaming for it, right? We need this, any, every support we can possibly get to help our health. And Shakeology is number one that. It's not protein shake. Oh, and the, the, sorry. And the Shakeology balls are so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Those are the best. I need to make them soon. And the Amoyla pancakes are so good. I'll send the link to that one too. Cause I have that oh, one. Oh yes, please. Oh, I haven't the tried Amoyla that. pancakes are, and I laughed when I watched him. I don't know if you saw it. It's called feed the beast. And so he makes oh, okay. it not like Shakeology and egg whites and, but then he tops it with like Halo top ice cream and <laughs> granola. And I was like, yeah, maybe I don't need all that. There are no containers it's for that. Huge. Like the actual pancake is huge. So yeah, I'll send that one as well too. He's a big guy. So he's got to eat more. <laughs> I think he said he eats like 4,000 calories a day. Holy. I, was I, like, I bet he eats more than that what and he eats ice cream every day that's what he said i was like wow he, well he's six three so yeah i and think he's doing all right i think so yes too. he's doing fine mighty just fine, fine. <laughs> yeah. i had somebody i told tamara i think i told tamara this i had somebody said um i realize i can't have the coconut whip on my shakeology so i think i'm going to take a break from shakeology what? And I said, I, I said, so let me just make sure I understand you. So you're going to give up all the nutrition and shakeology because you can't, because you can't put coconut whip on it. Well, it doesn't taste as good without coconut whip. What? <laughs> like, what? I think you're missing the point. I, you that's the person yeah, you're, you're, you wanted to. Pardon me? If she wants to put coconut whip, why can't she? Well, she says there's two, she, she's, oh, the got a, she's, oh. to, she's so messed up with her weight. She's now looking at every little thing that could be causing the reason why she's not losing weight. So her, you know, two tablespoons of coconut whip on her Shakeology is the reason why she's, oh, definitely. you know, hasn't, hasn't dropped her, the weight she's been looking at. So, oh 
anyway interesting creatures aren't we it was just it was just like really I just I didn't don't even really know how to respond to that exactly like they that. need to follow Andresa. Andresa is making the most delicious meals and she's like counting her like containers and she's lo- dropping the weight, looking amazing. Yeah. But like, I want to eat her food. Follow Andresa, Andresa Paso. She's like a chef yeah. and she shares about her containers and everything. Oh my goodness, her breakfast. She's like, I want to eat her breakfast. She's like, okay, you have to get off your cottage cheese and fruit. I'm like, I know, but when I'm by myself, I just get cottage cheese fruit. That's it. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> Um, Ashley, I think <laughs> when, when all you eat is cottage cheese and frozen berries, you know, yeah. that gets boring after a while. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. Um, Ash, I think you just have to send Max your email address. And then Who? she'll add you to the, Ashley would like him the nutrition group. Oh, yeah. If you can just, and anyone that sends me their email, can you put it in a separate comment? Because it's I can't copy and paste if it's in like can you please add me to your group my email address is x the chances of me not getting your email correctly without copying and pasting yeah. is high so I, I so agree. so I, I always try to share my email address on its own comment so then it's copy yeah. and paste yeah. so and does anyone know who Jacqueline Devlin is or Jacqueline Jackie she requested into my group, but I don't know who she is. I don't know who she's come from. So I don't know if she's just randomly found me. So I just wondered if Bro, anyone knew her. One thing you could do is just check the coach hub. Search. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Oh, exactly. Did That's the first thing I did. She didn't show up. Yeah. But I, I actually did that. that oh, there you go, know. Max. Way to go. Look at our leader, Maxine. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyone else? Let's um, take, a, take picture. a picture. Because we have all these beautiful. Smile. Even baby Brella is here today. Sleeping, sleeping beauty. Much better lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to move my desk to face my window. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. They're like throwing bowls of cereal everywhere. There's milk everywhere. <laughs> Not oh, <bowls>. well. <laughs> They're happy. Yeah. Can I just ask one question? Yeah. Um, I've been following up with a lot of ladies uh, in the last couple of weeks. But what would be a good idea to kind of push them, you know, to do one of the challenge packs or become a coach? Like what would be the final push to convince them? Um, so I would, uh, honestly, I just ask people what's, what's holding you back. Um, you know, okay. you, expect, you expect interest. It's a brand new month. We're going to kickstart, you know, if, if you've, decided what day you're going to kind of kickstart your boot camp and have people like registered by um I would say is there is there something holding you back like what is it that that thing that's because 162 dollars or 186 dollars Canadian is nothing when it comes to no like like in the big I sign up um there's very few people that you meet that couldn't afford it right it's right. that they don't fully understand the value of it yet. And so it, it's like, what is the reservation? Because for some people, it's that fear of like failure. Well, I've done, I've done everything. I've tried everything. And I, I just don't know if I'm going to show up. And then you yes. say, well, I'm going to be the one here for you. That's why we do what we do is the accountability piece. Everyone knows that it's fitness and nutrition. You could ask Kennedy, Kennedy three years ago and would have known, right? A five-year-old knows how, if you say to someone, how do you live a healthy life? You eat good food and you work out, right? Like it, it, yeah. kids can answer the question. So it's not that it's something new to people. It's the actual yeah. execution and the fear of failure. So yeah. that little, it, the accountability is key. We need it. We need that. Yes. That community. Well, the biggest thing I talk to them about is our shakeology, of course, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I love that stuff. Like I, I would eat it by the scoop if it, 
was okay to eat a bite of the scoop, yeah. but it doesn't taste as great. And but, I, I let them but you know what I mean? It. Like it's, it, it's like the biggest thing I talk about is our nutrition and how uh, important step one is in the kitchen, right? To get you to those goals, right? Yeah. But then honoring the, that person's journey. So you have two yeah. three different people sitting right here where Clarissa would be about the nutrition. A hundred percent. Like that was what, for me, if you had tried to sell me on nutrition, I would be like, yeah, sorry, I'm not interested. Um, yeah. Because I want to fitness part of it. So it's really knowing what their pain points are and then um, speaking to that. Because if you'd okay. said we have like top notch to me, top notch fitness programs that are complemented with nutrition, okay, you, I'm in. Whereas right. for her, it's totally different. With food driven, food driven. <laughs> and then you can add in the workouts, right? So it's really okay. speaking to who, you, who you're talking to and then finding out what that reservation is. And, and if you've, like you've, you said, you've had, you're following up with people. So obviously you mm -hmm. have many conversations, like you've had conversations with them. So yes. it's not like you're just all of a sudden saying, to someone that's brand what is your pain point like that's just yeah you build yeah. that kind of connection with them already so then you can you're almost to that sign up play, place and like yeah like, like yeah. I've got one person like literally on the edge of being a discount coach at this point right now because she's not really interested she just like to be the coach right now she just more wants the perks of it right which I get right? It's discounted prices. And let for them know nutrition. too, um, like in our experience, and you don't have to say that it's your experience. You say in our experience, like as a team, right? the people that sign up as coaches have better success. There's that one little extra accountability piece. Oh, okay. The title coach, right? Okay. It, it just, because a lot of people will be like, well, how do I coach someone if I'm not even at my I might go goal wait. Weight. My goal, they all say that, my goal myself. And I'm like, you wait, you have yeah. one friend join you, you're going to show up. Right. Whereas if now another client, you know, another question is, if somebody's in, like not really into the whole losing weight because they're not, they're not needing to, but they want the nutrition and the tone up part. What would you recommend for that? Cause I've had that question. That one kind of be on gets me tongue tied because you got people that want to tone up, but they want the nutrition at the same time. So how would you present that to make it sound like you're not just selling them one thing over the other? You know what I mean? No, like the nutrition isn't, isn't necessarily geared for just weight loss. It's geared for proper nutrition. So if okay. someone isn't in a weight loss on a weight loss journey, you're going to put them in a maintenance plan. Um, oh, okay. With portion, okay. Portion fix, and okay. so that they're going to be maintaining, um, and they can even bump up. Like if they're in Max's nutrition group, she was talking about how they can bump up a protein, um, okay, uh, cal category up to the next one, and okay. on programs where they're going to build muscle, like hammer and chisel. And another thing, the same happens to um, pregnant ladies, breastfeeding ladies, because they have to eat more, so they stay in the right. Mate. Same, same applies. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, yeah, ladies. I appreciate it. Proper, like fueling your body, not just about weight loss. Right? Yeah. And that's the biggest thing, right? Is just explaining it, right? I'm yeah. still learning how to present my words properly. Oh, <laughs> you learn never my thing. You learn <laughs> along the way. I used to di verbal diarrhea. Like, a yeah, that's me. Like, that. like, I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I think. <laughs> And then I just came to the point is like, what are your goals? So when they talk about their goals, it's like, okay, we have this program that I can, you can start with. And this, uh, maybe this uh, nutrition is going to be better. Like the two be mindset, or two, I don't say the names. And anyways, for emotional eating, whatever it's like, you have to ask how their nutrition are. And so it's easier like to plug them in. And like, okay. uh, you probably on a weight loss journey, but if you don't have all the tools of having tried the programs, ask the team because we have tried so many uh, programs so we can help you okay. to gear that person towards whatever it's their goals okay the other cool thing in the coach office right now is um that they added is they added a quiz that you can send to client for um your clients or potential clients to see which nutrition plan is best for them mm -hmm. so they answer oh, okay so like in like on beach body yeah on into the coach office, office. Yeah, coachteam.teambeachbody.com. And it's under like contents and shareable media. 
um, okay. under Is there. Is there a link that you can post or something? I, I don't know that it's a good one to send because I think it links to me. Oh, right? okay. So it would link to my coach ID somehow in the in the actual. Oh, okay. I'll try and see if I can can do it without it, but it just okay. gives them a little like idea of. So one of my friends that just joined, she did it and she was like, right. I, I knew right away it was going to say to be mindset because she's a total emotional eater. Um, and so she did the assessment and sure enough, it was to be mindset. So it, it okay. just gives them like base, I think they answer like 10 questions and it tells them which program is better for them. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do some... My personal opinion, I don't like this cut, uh, cookie cutter thing. Because for me, I am an I used to be an emotional eater. I still struggle with that. I have to like, okay, I'm hungry here now. Let's have a shake. Yeah, that was me too. For me, it's <laughs> like the containers plus what Ilana said. Have you watched all? Have you done the course that should be mindset course? No, I'm still so working on to, the. Okay, we stop okay, there. I'm still you working on the to. university stuff. <laughs> okay, so you have to watch the course because then you know you're gonna give your opinion. Okay, okay. your personal opinion because for me that was like the game changer. I used to see food as negative. Elena changed my mindset. So Elena's like, don't see as a cheat meal, see as a treat meal. So I combine both. For me, the quiz would never work. So do like your, what works for you, do both. Watch the whole thing from Elena and then you're gonna have your own experience. So you can share that with your customers. It's way easier than like, okay, try this link, try that questionnaire. I think your personal opinion is like what's gonna really help people. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. And also trying both of them. Like years ago, I did the portion control and it was, I just thought it was like so annoying and having to use the containers to measure everything. And so then when I tried the 2B mindset a couple months ago, I fell in love. So it was like so much easier to look at the play and I watched all the videos and I fell in love with Alana too. Um, and that, and that, that helped me lose weight too. And so I was like, oh, this is perfect for me. But then I found out I can't have as much veggies as Ilana like says that you should eat. And so for my body that didn't work. So I had to go back to the portion control to relearn that and see how it works with me. And I, I don't know, I've evolved. I've grown. <laughs> I don't know, but it's been so much easier this time around and it's helping me lose weight like crazy these last I've lost like 12 pounds in a little over oh a God. month like five weeks or something yeah so it's been it's been great and I haven't been I haven't been barely eating any veggies because I just found out it doesn't work with my intestines and so I just um this thing that's like I have to eat veggies, 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 veggies to lose weight, for me, it didn't work. So it's like good to have like your own experience with both things. And so unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch all of Autumn's new videos before my subscription expired or whatever. And so, but I did watch all of Alana's and that was amazing. So like watch them all, try them both and then see what works, if it works well for you and for your customers as well. 100%. Anyone else? Questions? The Bib Rail has a question. <laughs> I'll just add one little thing. Just I love that it's a journey. Like it's always changing and don't be afraid to like try new things or go back or all that. <clears throat> I know in the beginning for my journey, I was just sharing what I was seeing success with. So Tanya, like you don't need to know everything about everything. Yep. You really just have to share what's working for you. And you did that perfectly when you did let's get up, you know, and then now you're sharing your journey. So I know in the beginning I did 21 day fix and was drinking ch chocolate shakeology. And for my first three months, literally everyone signed up with that because that's all I could. That's what I was sharing about. Of course, you're going to have people that come with different goals, but like, just master what you're doing and share what's working for you. Um, and you may find success with that. And then like, once I did Pio, I did a Pio group and then got everyone excited for Pio. So like kind of just lean into what you're doing too. And like okay. every program you do now you have that little notch on your, on your belt where you're like, Hey, I can help someone with let's get up. Cause I did that program. 
Okay. So, yep. But don't be afraid to obviously recommend things you haven't tried, yeah. but okay. I've seen the most success with just like the challenge pack and what I've used. And yeah. And that's what I've been working towards is just the programs I've done and talking to people with the programs I've done and uh, the nutrition I've been doing. Right. And I mean, that's why I post on my, you know, IG account and all that stuff, what I've made and that kind of stuff and what's been working for me. Right. To keep with my goals. So yeah, I love all the advice though. <laughs> it's my brain and my wheels turning. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of information, very overwhelming, but it, it does help a lot. So everybody, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to like it. Can go back and watch if you like, because when we're brand kind of brand new, it's like just so much, right? Like, and, and then it's not clicking then, but then maybe two weeks after, one week after it's like, oh yeah, that, that, it makes sense, more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some goals. I'm hoping to get at least two people this month. So small goals, small goals. <laughs> and if you get three, you get free customers from Beachbody the following month. If you're ever Emirate and you're like on HD, 9PV and up, right? Yeah. We have um, over the six years that um, we're having Success Club on my account, we have collected like over a thousand clients from Beachbody. And they, most of them are American and American people love to spend money. They buy, they buy, they don't want to talk to us. They buy. <laughs> I, uh, I, my first month as Emerald, I was so, they sent me eight, eight. I was like, what? There you go, Sam. You're <laughs> so, so, there's someone in my building who's stolen. Okay. I don't know if they're in my building, but somebody stole uh, my package. And um, I know I have, I have to deal with that today, but um, it was like, I was like, why isn't it coming? Why isn't it coming? So I, in a sense, I kind of like, just want to find that person and be like, just, just joy <laughs> like it's okay they used to pull my couch phone or my beach body phone beach body they're gonna replace it well okay. yeah of course and okay. then you can change your address and put maybe like a to be sent to the post office so you go get it what? oh yeah yeah I, I figured um i was trying to figure um make sure i didn't know if i should call intel which is the delivery company or if i should call beachbody or... i would just call beachbody because oh, they can make another go. one right away and sometimes they do um expedite so you get faster okay cool and i would um get it sent to a post office yeah i me too if it's happening if once, it's not yeah it will happen again for sure yeah package out there for bait for whoever's uh stealing your package and see who it is and then get the <laughs> you're like it's okay if you you know <laughs> yeah. i can give you some samples and there's no like is there security uh, yeah, so i was i was so i was like that's why it's taking me a minute to deal with this because i'm like if i have to pull up all of the evidence that i've ordered it and i didn't get the package myself then i have to go to like uh, the building and try to ask them to pull the cam footage and stuff and then i was like, uh, it's too much energy wasted i wouldn't do that I could watch my videos that I missed this week with all that. Time. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Shall we get going, beautiful yeah. ladies? Well, thank you so much. Thanks mm. for hanging out today. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and let's kick ass this August. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.